What's going on, guys? This is DD Bates, and tonight I'm going to be doing a review on the Wraith Squonker 80 watt box. Let's check this out. What's going on, guys? So we're going to get with this uh, review on this Wraith. This Wraith is a box mod. I got it not too long ago. It's really been good to me as far as a Squonker. Um, I've had about two other ones in the past. My first one was the Terminator Squonk box. Uh, I was very disappointed. It was plastic, fell apart, broke, tossed it in the garbage. Kept a couple parts from it. Kept the RDA and stuff like that. Um, the second one was the Kanger Drip box, the 60 water single, 18650. <clears throat> And for a single 18650, it was okay, but it's nothing compared to this single 18650. Uh, the fact that this has a, a board on it that regulates the wattage the way you like it, uh, regulates the temperature and all that good stuff, uh, makes this that much better. As far as the builds you could put on here, the builds you could put are a little bit bigger. Um, not like the Kanger Tech. Kanger Tech wouldn't handle big builds very well. Um, this one does. This one handles pretty decent builds on it, especially if you do a single coil uh, like I have here. It makes a really great bait. So we're going to actually take all this stuff off completely. We're going to go ahead and put a fresh build on it so you guys can see how I do that. And we're going to talk about the board and how you use the battery and the squonker. All right, so let's get right down to it. We're going to go down below and we're going to start checking this out bit by bit. All right, guys? So let's go down and take a look. Okay, so let's start off by seeing what we get in the box. Uh, this is our box, and this is by me. You don't get it like this. I scratched it by mistake. Put a big couch in it, like an idiot. No, all right, so uh, this is your box. This is you get a nice design of it on the front of the box. You'll have the name on each side of the box, and then on this side you'll have 80 watt squonker white. And you'll have their website with their Facebook and Instagram here. So, you know, it's a really nice box, really nice packaging. You got like little uh, sparkles in it. It's uh, like um, a metallic black, I think it's what it's called. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to open this up and see what comes in this package. All right. You can just put this right underneath. And we have an instructional book here. It tells you... Uh, what's in there and how to use it and uh you know it gives you all the information on the back and power levels overheating detection working mods uh cyclone through the memory uh all different kinds of things i'm not going to go completely crazy over the instructions or how to use this board because i've already done that with the uh limitless uh box mod that they have they have the same board and i'll show you that in a moment You'll get two containers. I believe these are, let's see actually what what size these are. Um, they are, here it goes, this is where it comes. Two e-liquid bottles, but they don't say the size of the bottles. I would say they're about 10 mils. Looks close to 10 mils, 7 mils, somewhere around there. So let's just go ahead and take these out. They're nice and squeezy bottles, nice soft material, not very uh, tough like the other bottles. Make it easy. You'll get a clear one. You'll get the option of a clear or black. So you can use either or. I like the black in there. It looks a little bit better. There's a lot of white coloring on this. So, you know, putting the black in there with the white trimming on here, that looks really nice. Uh, you get your RDA. We'll take that right out. This is what the RDA looks like. I'll talk about all this in a second. Spit back protector. And then here we get some extra O rings, uh, two extra screws. And I think that's about it. I'm not, I don't remember too well if it came with coils, but we'll, we're going to put a coil in there anyway. So let's not worry about that. And there's nothing underneath this either. This is all. Um, you also get, uh, it's not a sticker, it feels like kind of a tough piece of cardboard. 
paper type thing. It has their website, little uh, scanner thing here. Um, has Coilhead, Kindred, and Abby. I guess these are the different things. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but pretty curious on what this is. Uh, so we'll figure it out maybe some other time. So this is our box mod. Very nice, very nice uh, paint job on here. I believe this is just like a sticker. It is starting to kind of come off there. I don't like these sticker things. Not very good. I I kind of kind of give this a con for this sticker crap right here because it's you know for the money that people pay for this, this should have been a little bit better than just a sticker. Uh, it does kind of start peeling off a little bit as you as you use this and your hand gets warm and you know it starts to warm up the glue in there and it starts to slightly move and shift and stuff so it does take a long time for it to realize that it's starting to move so nothing big you can see everything that comes in it how the box comes so i already have a container filled up so we're going to be using this black one and i'll show you how we're going to install that and put the coil in and all that good stuff so this is what it looks like this is not a fingerprint fingerprint magnet thank god because uh this is really nice and i think it, it's like this paint job here it's really nice and this is like a rubber coating type material it feels like rubber like a hard rubber it's metal but then it has like this beautiful rubber finish it's like their um their mini their little tiny 40 watt box mod they had and uh had the same feeling of the material that they used so we're going to get into the screen in a moment we're going to show you how to put your bottle in there and how to put the battery in so basically this is your battery and your juice door all you do is push up on it this way and it kind of springs up a little bit enough for you to grab it if you look right here you have a gold pin that's spring action okay that's not just for the door to open it this is actually a connector that connects to this negative gold plate right here all right this negative gold plate makes a connection between this and this and then this sends the power to the board so be careful with this pin here you don't want to damage that you don't want to damage this uh gold plated uh plate here all right so we're going to go ahead the battery goes in the back part if you look down in there you have um you have a, a uh, positive and that is a springy positive it does spring up and down uh, and then here on this side you have your juice uh, connector there your juice tip will go into the unicorn part it goes into there and that's how you'll be feeding your juice this is a spring loaded connector down in there so when you do take this off and you go to put this in this will spring in there you can see how the unicorn tip is and that'll enter into the hole and it'll stop right about there and then the rest is spring loaded and it'll sit in there nice and snugged all right so let's get a battery we're going to pop a battery in here you want to put your positive which is this right here your positive and the positive is going to face down and your negative will be up top touching this part here and that's how you get your connection when you close your door you push down and make sure you're pushing down evenly so it closes nice there you go and that's it very nice and easy to uh to close and put your juice in there now this battery is almost dead i gotta put a better battery in there but we'll do that right after okay so using this board like i said it's pretty simple to use this board I don't have an atomizer, but if you do want to go up and down with your wattage, it is a memory setting. So when you go up, it'll go to your memory one, memory two, memory three. So you could change your atomizers or you could change the coil, the type of coil you use and just uh, go up or down to the setting that you have a set for. Also, if you have a new coil with a different ohm and it fires different and whatnot, you could go uh, check that. You could just go up. It'll go to your 60 watt, and then if you want to change that, you go down, and then you go up, and it can change your wattage. So I'll do that again. We're going to set it. We're going to go. Oh, wait. Let's do that again. 
we're going to go down to 60 watts, so that's memory one. Now, to get to your wattage, you're just going to go down, and that'll bring you to your wattage. And then you could go up or down with your watts. And then to set it, you push your fire button. That's it. That's how you do that. And then to change your power mode, just go down, and you'll get into your power mode. Then you can go soft, standard, or power, or go backwards, or forward. And then when you find the way you want it, just hit the fire button and that'll set it. And there you go. But we're going to keep it at 80 watts. We're going to hit the button and set it to 80 watts. And then to get into your temperature control and stuff like that, you just want to shut it off, hit it again six times, and then you'll go into your mode. And then you can get into your temp, hit the button, and then you got into your temp. And then you could go stainless steel, nickel, titanium. And then you could go unit Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then you could change your temperature. Hit the button again. Then you could rotate it. And then you could exit menu. And then you could power off. And then we're going to go back into power. Auto adjust, power off. We're going to go auto adjust, power on. I think that's the way I like it set. 80 watts. There we go. And it's back in here. And then just to shut it off, you go five times. Oops, I locked it. One, two, three. Unlock. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oops. There we go. It's off. So we're going to take a look at this atomizer. Basically, you have your juice where it comes up to this uh, gold 510 pin right here. Looks like it's gold plated. Your juice will come up to that center hole right there. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's it's there. Um, your juice, that center hole is right here. And that hole will allow your juice to come up through it. Now on your 510, on your atomizer, you have a nice silver plated uh, pin right here. And you have a hole and that juice will follow right through there going into your uh, atomizer now on the bottom of this you have a nice engraving uh it looks like it's laser etched very nice has uh council vapors 2013 and then it says uh the wraith addy on the bottom um you could just take this off which you probably oh no it came off there we go this is uh your sleeve here has a bunch of holes going all the way around it. And then as you can see, you have some uh, marks here. You have two, four, and open, uh, uh, like a symbol eight, which stands for open all the way. All right, now in this, you have a bunch of holes set up all different. So you'll be able to adjust your airflow in different settings. Also your drip tip, your chuff cap here, will pop off with a little twist. And it comes right off it clips right in there you have a spit back protection in a cyclone kind of way so the air comes out and it's going to kind of just kind of spin out mixing everything that flavor up really nice washer all around just one and then on the bottom piece you have two washers here so you do have extra uh, O-rings for all these pieces. And then that uh, white O-ring goes around this drip tip right here, this chuff cap. All right, guys. And then this is all, looks like it's all stainless steel, I believe. Not aluminum. And let's just, chuff cap just goes on here. You want to line up this white dot. You have two white dots on each side. One here, one here. That white dot lines up with those dots down here on the white, these black ones. And that will just let you know what airflow is open. Like this is closed. This one's open. Closed. 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 Open. And then the rest should be closed. There's only two open. If you set it over to the four, you'll have four open, which will be this one, this one, this one, and this one. So they're directly across each other. And then you just adjust it to this symbol here that looks like an eight sideways that opens up every single slot so you get wide open airflow and you end up getting a really cloudy vape i like it on the four so the coil gets hit from each direction 
and it ends up being a nice fade. So let's go ahead, take a look at the deck. You got a two post deck. Okay. You got nice air, a uh, nice, uh, looks like a one by two millimeter hose or about one and a half by two and a half. It looks like somewhere around there. You can see this post is a little bent, but that was my fault. I kind of put a little too much pressure on it and it bent my, uh, my uh, post this is the positive so when you're when you're putting coils on this be very careful putting your post that you don't put too much pressure on these positives uh, these are a silver plated uh, uh, center 510 pin here with the hole going up through it you can see how it just feeds right up through there and fills up your whole uh, your whole deck there with juice and soaks up to your cotton two Phillips head screws you also have two extras so that's nice and then you have a nice protruding 510 pin sorry i went up too far uh, you have a nice protruding 510 pin here so if you wanted to just use this on a hybrid you probably could uh yeah i wouldn't see why not really nice nice simple deck it's nothing like huge and fancy but it's simple and it works and that's all i really care about so let's go ahead and screw this on go just like that snug it nice and then that's all that's all to it right there all right so let's go ahead we're gonna put a build on here I have a couple coils already pre-made but we're gonna switch that we're gonna go with something different I'm gonna actually make a new coil for this and uh, vape on it so I got this nice piece of uh, coil that I have left that I made it's a, a dual 28 core or 20 24 gauge dual 24 gauge with 40 gauge wrapped around it and i'm going to make a nice wrap with this and we're going to vape with this all right so i had one that i did already but we're gonna we're gonna swap out that build for a new build because i have a lot of space here and i want to make a nice single coil that'll fit right down the center here um i already had one but the coil is a lot smaller, two and a half inch screwdriver. I'm going to be using a three and we're going to just make it a little bit bigger. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, build this and go on. I don't know if you guys even see that. Yeah, you can see it's all right. All right. So I finished my coil build. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get up a little closer. There we go. And then I bend my leads and keep them flat. I don't want them to bend over I just keep them nice and flat because they're gonna go into the leads that way in the post Ooh, sorry about that all right so let's go ahead and get these in here we're gonna see what this will ohm out at all right so they should kind of go in with not too much of a struggle but a little bit of a struggle Ooh. I dropped it. Let's try to get this lead in first. This is the longer one. The longer one's the one you want to go in first. They think I'm hitting the screwdriver, that's why. I mean the screw. Let's pop that up a little bit. There we go. That went right in nice. I'm gonna snug that back down so it doesn't slide out. And then we're gonna pop this one in place. There we go, look at that, beautiful. See how nice that fits in there when you do it right? Look at that, so let's tighten down these leads. You don't wanna go super hard because these are these leads are just uh, soft metal and these screws are very, uh, uh, not a super strong metal, but they're they're good enough where you just clamp it nice and snug on top. It should work perfectly fine. So with this little screwdriver, you can't put a lot of force on it. So you want to make sure it's tight with the screwdriver, because if you had a bigger screwdriver, it would be easier. So it would be snug. So let's not let's not confuse you guys. All right, so let's check out the ohms. See where we're ohming out at. Okay, so we're at a 0.33, all right? So 0.33 at 80 watts should be a nice vape. We're gonna post that real quick. Oh 
yeah. She looks like she's going to be really nice. I could have even went with one less rat. I could have went with four. And it would have been a point two, about a point two five with four. Would have been a really awesome vape, but I think this is going to be a very nice vape right here. All right, so let's post this. Make sure it's the coils are firing nice. Make sure everything's sitting together very nice. There we go. All right, let's see how it's posted. All right, so it's not firing very evenly yet, so we're just going to... There we go. Look at that. Kind of hard to see it. Sorry about that, but check this out. Oh, yeah. Nice single coil build on there. It's a 3.0 screwdriver that I use so it's gonna be a nice beefy coil sitting in there and that's what I honestly that's what I want a nice beefy coil in here it's just one single coil if I had two coils they'd be smaller but with one coil it's nice nice to have a nice little beefy coil in there so we're gonna wick it okay let's get this wicked up Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, grab some scissors. We're gonna trim that cotton up a little bit and show you how I wick it. Yeah, that looks about right. There we go. And then what I wanna do is kinda just puff these ends out a little bit because these cottons are gonna soak up a lot of juice and they're gonna hold juice in there and uh, they're going to stay juiced up nice. So we're going to tuck the cotton over to the right on each side. All right. There's a reason why I do it like that. And I'll show you. All right. Both of them are going to go to the right. It's just my way. You don't have to do it this way. But if you want some, uh, some kind of airflow hitting these coils to the right or to the left, just pick a direction for both of them to go in. And uh, actually, I was supposed to go to the, I was supposed to actually go to the left. My bad. Shit. Let me uh, tuck it over this way. I was supposed to go to the left on both of them. So tuck it to the left. Well, it depends which way your lead is going is what you want to do. So like this one, the leads are on the left. So I want to tuck the cotton over there to the left. And the reason why is because that's going to, um, those leads get hot too. And what I'm doing is I'm just covering up the leads with the cotton and all of it ends up becoming a coil that vaporizes juice. So when those leads get hot, they'll vaporize some of that juice too, getting, helping you get some clouds. All right. So let's juice up the wicks. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to go ahead and squeeze the barrel or the bucket or whatever you want to call it, the juice container. You're going to sweet squeeze it. And you're going to see that juice come up. All right. And it's just going to soak right into the cotton really nice. Now, it does touch the bottom of the coil. Once you hit that coil and it warms up, that juice soaks in even faster. Look at that. Oh, it's already juiced up. So now it's going to soak, it's going to suck the rest of the juice back down to the bottom. That's not being used. There you go. We got vapors. 35 watts. That's all this is pushing out because my battery is so dead. So let's actually change the battery. There we go. Let's pop in a fresh battery. All right, we're gonna pop in a fresh battery, pop in the juice. All right, now I should be able to push out 80 what 76 watts is pushing out right now. Look at that. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? Look at that. Oh, the vapor you get off of this. 
Very nice. Let's go. Uh, let's go up top. I'm gonna have this set for four airflow holes to hit that coil. Now the coil is gonna get hit right here. So you want to make sure two of the airflows are hitting on this side, going this way, this way, the airflow. So it has space to hit your coil right here and right over on this side. That's why I did that. So your air shoots in, hitting your coil, cooling it off and allowing that vapor to come up. Very nice, and that flavor. All right, so I know there's an airflow right there. So we're gonna set it just like that. There we go. Let's go back up top. Let's check out the production of this uh, RDA and this mod. <clears throat> okay so finally we have a coil built in here we have a, actually i want to show you this production from up on the side view not the top and bot so the the vapor production is very nice on this it's uh it comes out to a 0.24 ohm bat uh build so the ohms changed as soon as i fired it and stuff um now it's a little bit lower which is nice so 0.24 and that's exactly for a single coil build really nice so make sure my airflow hits the proper way let's take a, a vape off of this let's get the hell this camera out of the hell out of my way forgot to move it wow that was really nice uh, a lot of a lot of vapor a hell of a lot of flavor. This Glonk box, to me, this Glonk box here, this Glonk box here, really outperforms the Kangaroo Tech Glonk box, the single battery one. Uh, not the dual. The dual's got way more power. It goes up to 160 watts. Not only that, it does uh, temperature control for nickel, titanium. Uh, uh, stainless steel and nichrome. This one only does for uh, nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. I think more mods out there that are going to be doing temperature control. So start thinking about trying to do more temperature control in um, in nichrome because a lot of people use nichrome, man. It's in stainless steel. So stainless steel and nichrome being those two right there. Definitely got to go with the temperature control with that nichrome and the stainless steel. Two beautiful coil builds that look really nice when you vape on them and use them doing those pretty builds and stuff like that. So really think about it, guys, and doing that stuff, man, because they, they come out looking really nice. So as you can see, this thing hits beautiful. Um, I got to juice it up again. All you do is squeeze that button. You don't even have to take this off. Honestly, I'll show you the proper way of doing it that makes it easier is you just take off the, the chuff cap. You look down in there, you squeeze that button, wet your wick up. That's it. You just dripped it. And you can see how wet uh, those coil, that cotton is. It's like you dripped right on it. You know what I mean? Just like you dripped right on it. So it's, it's a beautiful well worth buying device um, especially if you're a driver and you want to be safe on the roads really think about getting one of these guys because this could save your life instead of sitting there trying to drip while you're driving so this is dnd vapes thank you for watching this review if you like this review please give me a thumb up thumbs up guys um and if you don't you know just give me a thumbs down i don't mind i'll take it <laughs> it'll hurt me right here but i will take it um and if you have any questions, guys, leave it down below. I'll try to help you answer you. Um, don't forget, guys, to check out my Instagram at D8DS underscore vape. So go check out my Instagram. Um, also, I have a giveaway going on right now, guys. Go check out how to do it and join that giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and uh, leave a comment down below what vaping did for you. So please, guys, if you're new to my channel, also leave a uh Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You'll get some updates on when new videos come out. And don't forget to check out my live show, uh, the Daily Vape uh, show, and check that out. It's every day we do. Uh, different people come on and hang out and stuff like that. So peace out, guys. This is DND Vapes. God bless and vape on.